Well, that's pretty exciting to pull up on. I guess I should get my anchor out and get into it. Welcome back to another episode. I'm out here doing what I do best. I'm anchored up in shallow water. I've got a hell of a lot of burley. My two big baits out the back and I'm hoping for big shallow water fish. Ideally a big snapper, big Samson fish, jew fish, whatever. I just want a big fish. See, I've got the burley bag in the water. There's fish showing on the sounder. sun's just coming up now fingers crossed one of these two rods here absolutely buckles over as the sun comes up there you go there you go <laughs> you beauty and we're fish on for sunrise that's what i'm using for bait there so one rod i've just got a tiny little ball sinker single hook with a little bit of flash on it and half a scaly. So that's one of my rods, flick them out. My other rod's slightly different. I'll show you that as well. That's a two hook snell rig. A little bit of flashy stuff above it. And yeah, same bait, scalies. And I'm just putting the bottom hook at the snell straight through the eyes there so there's heaps of hook exposure and then just pinning that one back through that way oh fish on look at that oh yeah here i am talking crap and this one's fish on no monster it feels like a snapper might be target species here Oh, it's so good to be able to do this again. After having closed season for, I don't know, however long it's been, it feels like forever. It's just good to be back. Losing some line down the Burley Trail. Oh, it's a snapper. He's not big, but he's the first of the morning. Done that little single hook there. Beautiful little fish, but he's not the big fella that I've come out for this morning. He's out of here. As I was trying to show you, that one's just a snell rig, two hooks. Again, half a scaly. I don't usually use scalies, but they looked the best in the servo. All the bait there looked really crappy, to be honest with you. I wasn't very prepared, but sure it'll work and I've sent that one straight down the Burley Trail there a good 50 odd meters away from the boat just because it's so shallow if you fish too close to the boat I reckon the big snapper they spook they know the boats there and they freak out and they won't come close but if you cast it right down the back of the Burley Trail the big boy lingers out there and that's where you'll score them in the shallow water oh that sort of monkey off the back anyway I got that first fish Shows I must be doing it somewhat right anyway, so both baits are back out now. Still nice and overcast, the sun hasn't made its way up yet, so it's peak time right now if you ask me. We've got a super low tide this morning, which is not going to work in my favour. But with the burly and that, I'm going to back myself in. So yeah, that's one snapper, one crayfish so far. Oh, that's a first. Crayfish on hook. See you, buddy. Been here 15 minutes, so it's not a bad start. Although, I want to see the big one. That's what I want. Yes. There 
There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's on the single hook again. Funny enough, I was just saying that it'll be this rod that goes off. It's been the other rod both times. Oh yeah. Straight back towards the beach there. Oh, I love this. Well, it's a big fish, that's for sure. I've got colour already. Look at that. Isn't that just the best sight? Oh, you beauty. He's probably worthy of a net. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. He hit hard. Good fish, though. Good fish. He's such a clean looking snapper too. Absolute beauty. Although I do still want bigger, but that is an absolutely beautiful snapper. I'm gonna keep that one. That's beautiful fish. On the little black magic flasher. Beautiful. That's not a bad way to open the season at all. I'm happy with that. Man, I've missed just being able to do this. This is by far my favorite style of fishing. Just heading out, just heading out solo, fishing in really shallow next to the beach here. Anchor in, barely flowing, and a couple of big dirty baits out the back while I drink my coffee. Man, I've missed this, this is so good. So happy to be back. I've got to get to work today too, so I'm only really gonna be fishing the sunrise. I've already had a sweet morning, but surely there's a couple more fish in us. I've just pumped the burly bag again. I reckon we've got another one in us. So these are the reels and rods I'm running. I'm running a 4,000 size Shimano Stratic. It's just one of the older ones. It does the job. PE3, I guess it's a jigging style rod. I've had this thing for years and it just keeps on going. It's a bit busted up here, like she's a bit broken in that, but inshore snapper, she's perfectly fine. The other one is the 5,000 size Saragossa. That one's got 30 pound line on it. And that's on the Abrolis Mick paddle rod. I actually really love that rod, it's absolutely awesome. Very powerful rod. And so yeah, that one's running 30 pound braid to a 30 pound leader. And over here, we've got 20 pound braid to a 20 pound leader. And funny enough, it's the lighter one that's hooked up both fish this morning. If you're fishing inshore in super shallow water like this, like it's that clear, I can see the bottom. So you've got to be a little bit stealthy, like no music on the boat, no stomping around, no smashing the burly pot, and no heavy leaders. You want to go nice and light, the fish won't see it, and ideally fish unweighted or a super light weight on it. You don't want to just have a big bait set on the bottom, otherwise you get stingrays and sharks and you get all the crappy stuff, so... Yeah, that's the rods I'm using. Bait this morning was not the best bait whatsoever. I like to use whiting or muleys, but 
I wasn't very organized, so it was scalies this morning. And yeah, just anchor up on a piece of reef, let out some rope until you just you're on the drop off onto sand there and you want to be fishing right next to the reef but above the sand and then that way you're not getting snags you're not catching all your wrasse and all your all the fish you don't want to catch see often if i if i catch a wrasse or two i'll just let out another five meters of rope catch another wrasse i might let out another meter or so of rope until i'm happy where i'm not really catching anything other than the snapper so see like right now i got that crayfish straight away that told me I was still up on the reef. Sort of stopped letting rope out because I seen all the fish were right there on the reef. So that's why I stopped there. I got a snag straight away and then I caught a crayfish. So I was like, all right, I'm letting more rope out. As soon as I did that, moved out onto the sand, I caught that snapper. And cause I'm only in six to eight meters of water here, as soon as the sun's come up, it's pretty well game over. It's 5.34 in the morning, so it's still super early. I'm only gonna fish till about 5.45, so that's why I'm sort of doing a bit of a wrap up here, because chances are there's gonna be no more fish. That's the, the downside of the inshore snapper fishing. You really have to fish that first or last light, otherwise it's just so challenging. Um, but yeah, completely low slack tide this morning, so the tide wasn't good, the water's too clear still managed to catch a fish so to be honest i'm pretty happy of that i'm only had an hour and a half to be on the water this morning so as i said i've got work but yeah pretty much that's a few tips and tricks to catching inshore snapper and as you can see i am inshore i'm right in on the beach here and yeah Na navionix get the app on your phone that's your friend pretty much you can look at any big structure of reef on there drive to it drop your anchor on it let out a little bit of rope until you're on the sand just behind it burly like mad fish the sun up and you got every chance in the world for a big inch or snapper as you've seen i didn't catch a massive snapper this morning got a perfect eating fish that'll fit oh look at that <laughs> just wrapping up the episode and I'm um, fish on. Oh, he's all right too. I was just sort of, I was calling it for being over. Sun up, pretty much recapping the episode and I've got one more come through. He's not massive, but it's gonna be target species again, I think. Oh, it is so nice out here this morning. I really wish I had more time and I was heading offshore. I'd say everyone who's got a bit more time today is going to do rather well. Yeah, it's another snapper. Perfect. Beautiful fish. I might get a bit of underwater footage of him. monster there he is beautiful fish though that fish there's come on the the lighter set up again so the lighter rod this morning has caught every single fish and i'm going to say that comes down to the water being so clear even the 30 pound line is too heavy this morning so he's hardly hooked as well single hook 20 pound leader bit of scaly and yeah that's a beautiful fish. Away he goes. I'm not even going to bother having another cast after that fish. I've got to get off to work this morning, so lines are out. Quick time check. It's gone 5.40 a.m. Oh, it's so nice out here. I really wish I could spend a lot longer. But yeah, out here. The inshore thing is pretty well over at this time of the day anyway. Obviously if I hung around and keep pumping burly I may pick up another one or two but the main bite period is certainly... I'm happy. Got my one fish to take home. That's all I wanted to take home anyway so absolutely stoked. Race back in while the sun's coming up and get off to work I guess. God damn, I hate having a job sometimes. This is so hard to leave. <laughs> <laughs> 